Welcome to the Congress of Bio Medical Center, SAMS, 2000-2001. Okay, the theme of this Congress is Educated in Hemoglobin and Venous Blood Sugar in Diabetic Patients Monitored in Abuja. In introduction, we say that the complication of diabetes are influenced not only by the duration of diabetes, but also by the average level of chronic glycemia, which is measured most reliable, which indicated uh, hemoglobin AC. The most common type of diabetes is type 2, long asymptomatic, which usually occur after a long period of insulin resistance and metabolic disorders. In 2010, in sub saharan Africa, more than uh, 12 million people were living with diabetes and 330,000 people died from related complications. The simple determination of blood glucose level on periodic basis at the time of checkup prior to visit to the medical practitioner can, cannot provide a clear picture of the long-term control of diabetes disease. The study of glycated hemoglobin and blood glucose was carried out in number of studies in both Caucasian and black subjects. However, a very few studies of glycated hemoglobin and glycemia were carried out in Cordoba. The objective of this work was to study the correlation between uh, glycated hemoglobin and glycemia in diabetic subjects in a private health facility in the municipality of Yokobo. This study involved 100 patients recruited for a diabetology consultation at a private health facility in Yokobo, which lasts three months. Patients with diabetes, regardless of gender, width, and age more than 18 years, who accepted a sample and gave informed consent, were selected for blood glucose and uh, uh, hemoglobin leakage. Patient with other associated conditions such as high blood pressure were not selected. Measurement of weight and age were made according to the Wu standard. Overweight and obesity were determined by calculating the BMI. The samples were taken from people with diabetes on an empty stomach the day before. The blood was collected in two types, one containing uh, both an anticholinergic and anticoagulant, and another containing ethylene, dimer, tetraacetic acid. Glycated hemoglobin was determined by immunotherapy, method, and blood glucose, uh, glucose by classical glucose oxidase, peroxidase, asthmatic method on a Cobas E400 automaton. The reference values for glycated hemoglobin were 6.5% and for fasting blood glucose between 0 0.60 uh, gram per liter and 1.10 gram per liter. The sample were taken with informed consent from the patients. This study was approved by the Ivory Ethic Committee for Clinical Research. The analysis of the variable was done by the Pearson and Spearman correlation test with a significant freehold of 5%. This table shows the variation of glycemia and glycated hemoglobin by age group. What you can say is that the age of most patients was between 40 and 50 years old with an average of uh, about uh, 49 years and a strength of 13 and 82 years and sex ratio of 1.17. Uh, the second table is uh, show the distribution of glycemia and glycated hemoglobin level according to the presence of complication. What we can say is the blood glucose was not significantly associated with the occurrence of complication. The presence of a complication was associated with uh, a fer uh, frequent O6 time. Uh, this table showed a correlation curve between glycated hemoglobin and glycemia. 
the cotton and hemoglobin was significantly correct, correct, uh, correlated with blood glucose. The correlation coefficient R was 0 0.4412 and uh, P 0 0.0001. And what you can see uh, with uh, this table is that a sedentary lifestyle and BMI superior to probably 25 ki kilogram per uh, mass were associated with a significant increase in the risk of increasing blood glucose and replicating hemoglobin. This next table shows the glycemia and indicated hemoglobin distribution by treatment adherence. The commentary is that poor adherence to treatment was associated with an increased risk of high net blood glucose and high indicated hemoglobin. And this one again show, this table shows the military variety analysis of hyperglycemia and indicated hemoglobin with BMI, lifestyle treatment, and publication. The commentary is that hyperglycemia and uh, glycated hemoglobin were significantly associated with poor adherence to anti-diabetic treatment. The type of treatment and the degree of obesity did not influence okay, the results. In conclusion, we say that this study showed that glycated hemoglobin was highly correlated with glycemia. Moreover, glycated hemoglobin was shown to be a better predictor of diabetes complication than Senior. Thus, we recommend that the measurement of glycated hemoglobin should be integrated and in health check of any person aged more than 40 years old or uh, uh, Likewise, organized awareness campaign spreading and information of population of metabolic disease, especially diabetes. Future studies are made with a larger sample of subject to allow the use of this marker in the prevention of diabetes medication. In a acknowledgement, uh, go to the team of endocrinology and diabetology department of teaching hospital of Yokubo in Abuja, organizing committees of the SARS Teaching Bio Med Council Science 2000-2001 Congress. Thank you for your kindness attention.